New tonight, increased efforts to keep the streets in Lodo safe at night. A van like this one at the center of an effort to get more cops on the streets and more drunks off the streets. Mark Stewart live downtown right now where the push begins this coming weekend. Mark. And Mike, here's what happened. Many of the businesses here in Lodo got together and raised their own money to help the police with resources. So if there's a drunk troublemaker here on Wincoop Street, for example, there won't be a wait to haul them off to detox. From the ballpark to the 16th Street Mall, Denver's scout car will be targeting anyone who is drunk and causing problems. Starting this weekend, the white van will solely be dedicated to Lodo on Friday and Saturday nights. If we have to wait for, say, a scout car to come from Glendale to get to Lodo, it's too long. We really needed the help here in Lodo, particularly at closing time. The effort isn't cheap. Downtown businesses are pitching in about $14,000 to have the van specifically dedicated to Lodo. Police say it will help clear the streets and keep officers free to do other things. It's very much so boots on the ground and our ability to, to uh, get people transported to Denver Cares or to uh, the Denver Detention Center as expeditiously as possible. The van has been used before, but this year the coverage area will be greater and will cover more of the calendar. We want people to know, we want the people who make the trouble and the people who just are concerned about it to know that the businesses and the residents in Lodo really care about safety. And police feel this will really extend beyond Lodo, the benefits at least helping to keep drunk drivers away from the wheel. We're live in Lodo tonight. Mark Stewart, 7 News.